All right, I'm going to show you from scripture that these charismatic counterfeit gifts of the Holy Spirit actually have origins in ancient pagan Egypt. This counterfeiting of the spiritual gifts by the power of devils, obviously, by the power of, of, of devil spirits. So let's get right into the scriptures, something the charismatics don't like because they go by their experiences and feelings over the holy word of God, over the pure, you know, more sure word of prophecy that we have, the holy Bible. They don't like that. They go by their experiences and their traditions of men. You know, beware, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and tradition and vain deceit. Paraphrasing, of course, you know, in Colossians 2.8. They go by their experiences over scripture, but Bible-believing Christians, we can easily show that these counterfeiting, this counterfeiting of the Holy Ghost, the gifts of the Holy Ghost that they do, it goes back a long way. And the, the uh, sorcerers and magicians and witches of ancient Egypt were able to counterfeit the gifts that Moses and Aaron were, were performing by the power of the Holy Ghost. They, they, the magicians, they did it by the power of devils, obviously. So let's get right into the scriptures. The magicians and sorcerers of ancient Egypt could perform lying signs and wonders and miracles by the power of their gods, which were actually devil spirits. Moses and Aaron turned the rod into a snake by the power of the Holy Ghost. Meanwhile, the Egyptian, the Egyptian magicians, the Egyptian magicians, tongue twister there, did it by the power of devils. The devils counterfeited the gift and the miracle that Moses and Aaron did. Exodus chapter 7, verses 8 to 12. All right, sorry about that. Had a bit of a te technical difficulties there. But I was reading Exodus chapter 7, verses 8 to 12, where Satan, basically the, the Satan was giving the Egyptian magi the Egyptian magicians, tongue twister, the power to do the, to counterfeit the gifts of the spirit, you could say, that Moses and Aaron were performing, the miracles they were performing. So let's read Exodus chapter 7, verses 8 to 12. And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, When Pharaoh shall speak unto you, saying, Show a miracle for you, then shalt thou say unto Aaron, Take thy rod and cast it before Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent. And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and, it be and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. Now the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantments. For they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallow, swallowed up their rods. So what happened? The Egyptian magicians, the sorcerers, the witches, by the power of witchcraft and devil spirits, they were able to counterfeit the miracles that Aaron and Moses did by turning that staff, their staffs into a rod, or sorry, their, their rods into a snake. I do apologize. You know, lack of sleep, this is what it does to you. But uh, they, they could do that by the power of devils. The charismatics today are no different. They're counterfeiting those same gifts. It's ancient Egypt paganism, that's all it is. Moses and Aaron can turn the river into blood by the power of the Holy Ghost. The, Egyptians, the Egyptian magicians counterfeited that miracle by the power of devils. Exodus chapter 7, verses 9, 19 to 22. And the Lord spake unto Moses, Say unto Aaron, Take thy rod, and stretch out thine hand upon the waters of Egypt, upon their streams, upon the rivers, and upon their ponds, and upon all their pools of water, that they may become blood, and that there may be, there may be blood throughout all the land of Egypt, both in vessels of wood and in vessels of stone. And Moses and Aaron did so as the Lord commanded, and he lifted up the rod and smote the waters that were in the river in the sight of Pharaoh and in the sight of his servants. And all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. Uh, and the fish that, that was in the river died, and the river, the river stank, and the Egyptians could not drink of the drink of the water of the river. And there was the blood throughout all the land of Egypt. And the magicians of Egypt did so with their enchantments. And Pharaoh's heart was hardened, neither did he hearken unto them, as the Lord had said. So again, the magicians, they could counterfeit the miracles that Moses and Aaron were doing by the power of their gods, their devils they worshipped. Nothing, nothing, nothing much has changed with the... Uh, now today it's seen by the you can you can see an example of this today. Again, you go to any charismatic, you know, devil building, you'll see examples of that today. Finally, Moses and Aaron brought frogs in the land of Egypt by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Egyptian the Egyptian magicians counterfeited that sign and wonder by the power of devils. Once again, they do it by the power of Satan. Exodus chapter eight, verses five to seven. 
And the Lord spake unto Moses, Say unto Aaron, Stretch forth thine hand with thy rod over the streams, over the rivers, and over the ponds, and cause frogs to come up upon the land of Egypt. And Aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt, and the frogs came up and covered the land of Egypt. And the magicians did so with their enchantments, and brought up frogs upon the land of Egypt. So you have three different examples in the book of Exodus, Exodus 7 and Exodus 8, where the magicians could use devil spirits, they th said were their gods, they could counterfeit the miracles that the that the basically Moses and Aaron were doing by the power of God. The magicians did it by the power of devils. Just like the magicians of ancient Egypt, who attempted to counterfeit signs and wonders that Moses performed, the modern day charismatic movement counterfeit, counterfeits gifts of the Holy Spirit by the power of devils. You can trace the roots all the way back to ancient Egypt, ancient pagan Egypt. That's where this modern day charismatic movement comes from. The ancient Egyptian magicians, as well as Simon the Sorcerer, by the way, in Acts chapter 8, verses 9 through 11, are the spiritual fathers of the modern day charismatic movement of today. It's witchcraft, it's sorcery, it's ancient paganism, that's all it is. Don't be deceived by the wicked modern day charismatic movement. It's just repackaging of ancient Egyptian witchcraft, that's all it is. So don't be deceived by it, but may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.